down a second. Now if I got the gun, I'm ready to come take it. My folks hey gang. I need to do this piece of art for Gary Con. So why not put it live, right? We need to make this usable for Garicom. So, um, we just got to reimagine this. Raven and I did a video about this earlier. So, I didn't get anything that I really wanted to use, so. So all I'm really doing is just sort of messing around to see, I mean, to try to land somewhere, it's something that reminds us of um, Salamander. It's going to be a, like a clear homage for sure. get some pencils in there and then try to try to ink it after I've sort of got this design happening. It's kind of just mashing stuff around until it hits something seems right. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna get super heavy heavy with the inking too. So, okay. so that it feels the same. 
Maybe it's that straight on luck that's, that sells this. Let's see. <clears throat> Oh yeah, this definitely is starting to feel more like the original now.
kind of watching the chat if anybody wants to chime in. Or if there's suggestions. <clears throat> you can also find us over on Twitch, Fail Squad Games TV. It's one of those things where you kind of design along the way. So I'm just letting it get messy. <clears throat> and then after uh, so we get this like that's the sketching phase, then we can get in there and church it up on the inks. So, it's kind of derivative, yes, it is derivative, fully derivative, but... Uh, It's one of those creatures that we want to have, we want to highlight. sure what these things are on the salamander <clears throat> but I mean maybe like wavy I don't know they're like obsidian or no they can't be they organic something or another <clears throat> that's okay whatever they are we're gonna add them on here too at least Bits. And there's a happy little salamander it lives right there. He's right there in the outer plains of hell. That happened to a salamander. He just wants to drag you to Hades, that's all. He's just from the demonic pit of fire. That's all. He's a little salamander. He's right there with a spear. Raven's checking in on me. 
making sure I got my stream working. I did. <clears throat> I did. Steven's been helping me with the technical aspect of streaming. <clears throat> and uh, bringing her into a partner situation in Fail Squad Games, I think, eventually, where trying to work into learning the biz not that I'm uh, some magical pro at it we get it by Just a rough old part. This is where we just decide how the creatures are made. Anatomy tidbits that I'm struggling with on the struggle bus. We want it to feel like the old one, look like the new one, be something we can use. Lieutenant Commander can put on some merch, maybe. I'm really happy about the music situation. <clears throat> My Facebook videos keeps getting uh, keeps getting uh, locked, even though it's supposed to be stream safe music that I choose. Facebook is the one that doesn't like it. We always keep locking it down. Um, so Facebook Creator Studio has a list of Facebook approved music. <clears throat> so here we go. Pick a little, little groove. I was using pretzel. The, um, it's supposed to be stream safe music and it passes fine for Twitch, but not for Facebook. So we're playing by Facebook rules. <clears throat> I think a lot of this is just going to be loose. I want to keep that style. I'm going to need to make some beefy, beefy lines. Got to, let's see. Left. His left is up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a tough angle, isn't it? Hmm. Spend a lot of time doing that. All my posing. <clears throat> I think it's going to be a little broken his wrist. Um. It's a weird way to hold something. I mean, it's doable. It's, it's, that's what I'm struggling with. It's it's doable because like wrist, wrist, line, 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 piece. It's like in that place where it starts to make sense, but it doesn't look right. 
is always, always a big friggin' hassle. Thumb's coming off the way across over there. Maybe that's what it's going on. I need to advertise what's over there a little more. I don't know. No, that's not right. I can't decide how I would hold something. My dinner fork. Hmm. That's my problem. Should be seeing more of the fingers. Suddenly it makes sense. Sort of. <clears throat> this isn't making sense because there we go. <clears throat> Salamander, funny little dudes. Look at it, look at it. Look at it, Lieutenant Commander. <clears throat> when Mr. Gygax needs the art, Mr. Gygax gets the art. Huh? I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on some smoothing. A nice Facebook edition is smoothing. Sorry, I'm not ignoring everyone, but I uh, was trying to watch for comments on Facebook. <clears throat> but uh, there aren't any, so maybe I shouldn't worry so much about it, you know? Oh. One of the things I should do, since this is Gary Khan art, <clears throat> might be relevant to Gary Khan folks. Yes, Raven, I did figure it out. Thank you.
<clears throat> okay. So now I've got the chat over there. I think I can watch it all. But what I really need to do is get this sucker done. I think he needs some cool. That salamander, he's so cute. I, um, wow, oh, that looks terrible. I don't like that. I just kind of made my salamanders. Why? It made more sense of them just sort of soaring around. Oh, I need to make this public. Little, I'm adjusting as we go. <coughs> Excuse me, I just had to change the Facebook video to public. I don't know what I was thinking. The smoothing tool. So, kind of getting the design idea in place. I kind of wish it was. We're going to, I mean, I know it looks super rough, <clears throat> but the idea is we need a basis. We need to make something that we can ink out. So, back, where? Now I'm going for some ink stuff. Uh, and of course, I don't really use ink brushes much. I'm going to have to make one. Oh, these marker pens. Oh, that's pretty good. <clears throat> well, I think I'm going to go back to... Just so we can... Get this head the same. Might not work out, we'll see. And I think a lot of folks don't realize when we do these illustrations or it's not illustrating something that's it's not like we can look at something and reproduce it, you know. We need to design the creature along the way. And it's not always I mean, yeah, we kinda oops. We kind of know what a salamander might be, but you still got to design it. Have it make some sense, you know? <clears throat> I was working this, uh, gray tone backgrounds easier on the eyes and there's something about starting with some uh, messy page it makes me feel better about drawing on it too so i'm gonna change my brush settings here a little bit i'm just gonna make it suck around that looks better He's a happy little salamander. He lives right there in the night circle of hell. He just wants to eat your soul. He's a special little guy.
<clears throat> you just want us to burn your skin alive with lava. Happy little, happy little salamander right there. Now the original is ink super heavy. I suspect it was a much smaller illustration. But, um, so I want to try to replicate that feel. I forget I'm not I'm not just redrawing here, I'm inking. <laughs> Outer lines, super heavy. Not my, not my uh, comfort zone for sure. Let's see, it's moving. Turn that up. Mm. Thank you, Photoshop, for smoothing. Although every other piece of software did it years before you did, Photoshop. somewhere we're getting somewhere feel yeah, there's a lot of this line work <clears throat> in that original piece I'm going to try to replicate it. I don't know how I'm going to do, but we'll see. I like having it up there for reference, inspiration, whatever. My uh, my style is a lot more chaotic and sketchy. I don't tend to end up on tight inks very often. Definitely a Chet Minton forte, though. Let's get these What's up here. Keep that feel, keep that feel. <clears throat> uh, I can't figure out how I'm going to do this. That's it, man. So we got that. I don't know why I switch sides when I'm on reflect. Sometimes it just makes me feel better. Right. You can't spend a lot of time in symmetry. If you do, you end up like everything. It starts to look too, I don't know. Too symmetrical. Buying in 
to the delusion. No one's fault but mine. Overdraft in the dream, thought I was out my mind. No nepotism here. These slave ties. Blood diamonds round my neck, don't let the shame die. Before Riri caught that body, I was anti. The whole break. about Tapopian, the most efficient, it don't look fly from close range, the discipline to take you everywhere the prayers came, sanctify, probably be zoomed out, get that heavy anchor, I almost need to see my email. The stream lives up. We know that. <clears throat> Got lost my music. All right, here we go. Oh, this is. A nice discovery. I just discovered that I can see Facebook chat messages in Streamlabs. So that makes me happy. world of the connection is failing. As I said, inking, not my forte. We're gonna use some smoothing. This is all super heavy up here though. Yeah, I know this is derivative. I think that might be the point. I'm going to make it pretty clean because it's going to get turned into a um, Illustrator file. So I'll have to put it into Illustrator and make it. Something else. Take 
Let's forget this. These are all going to be, whatever these are, going to be filled in in black. bunch of references stuff up that to be like a flint sort of feeling thing instead of a I feel like it should feel a little flint napped imperfections stuff won't even know that it's there once we get all eight get that those heavy black areas in there John Scott giving me more references. <laughs> um, we're not. I don't think we we want this one in color. Oh, yeah, look at that. The uh, or one the other AD and D classic salamander is pretty interesting as well. That swanky level of neat. <clears throat> ah. Smoothing tools. Not quite up to par with every other piece of software. Adobe. Too smooth, too elevated, too smart, too concentrated. 
too ill, too ill for stand still. Too hard headed to bend today. Well, when y'all finna leave me alone, I'm way. Well, thanks, John. Yeah. Um, I think I can, I'm I'm not exactly sure where we're putting uh, this rendition, but yeah, it needs to be switched over to black and white. I mean, not switched over, but kept black and white, and then I mean, be recognizable. Uh, I mean, there, there's a there's definitely a limit on what we can do. And I don't even know. I mean, I might be putting in all this time and we'll get it done and also say eh, too close. I'm hoping that that's not going to be the case, though. All right, so you know this is not going to decide <clears throat> where these heavy black areas are going. Like, I think this has to be one of those things that you see across the room, and uh, you know what we mean, but let's not tempt Wizards of the Coast too much. that under layer guiding this I also need to make sure that this this uh, line business here that I got going on getting some of that business. Just fell. That starts to feel more like it.
I need to change the genre here. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things that um, Photoshop could do better on is having the maximum width of pen pressure. Ah, shoot, it should be my shoot. Replicate this a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know what you were going for here, old Jim, but gonna, we're gonna tip our hats to you as much as much as we can. I uh, remember one time I was uh, called Jeff Easley and um, said, man, I got a whole bunch of like pen and ink artworks that I've done for RPG folks, lesser gnome and whatnot. And uh, <clears throat> I'd really like some, you know, some critique feedback. I, I need to improve. He said, sure, you know, bring them along. We'll meet up at Su Wings, Chinese place there in um, Lake Geneva. And I'll, uh, we'll have a look. And I said, okay, this is great. Like, this is like everything I wanted, more than I wanted, really, you know. And I grabbed up all my drawings and stuff, and I headed over there to Su Wings. I met Jeff and sat down, and I pulled out like a whole bunch of pen and ink artwork. And he... Looked at it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you, you have a little you have a little trouble here hooking it when you do your ink work. I was like, yeah, yeah. Not bad. Well, let's eat. That was the critique I got from Jeff Easley. <laughs> That's all right. Jeff's a good friend. Well, I was at North Texas one year. I, frequently, I share a room with Jeff when we're at Texas. Uh, one year, he, uh, they put me in a booth next to him. The first year I was there, and uh, Doug brought over a bunch of, brought over some canvas and paints and stuff, and he said, uh, I want you guys to paint while you're here at the booth. So no pressure, but I had to do a painting sitting next to Jeff Easley. The first time I'd been to that convention. Well, my painting was terrible. Three quarters of the way through, wiped it all out and started all over. It's not easy when you're painting next to somebody like Jeff Easley. That might be where I really learned not to compare myself to somebody else. Because it's, 
need to compare myself to easily or I don't know I need to get out of the business maybe I'm a big Larry Elmore fan, but I'm a biggest fan of his uh, pen and ink work, which I think he does with brush. Some things here that I just want to do that make more sense. Put a shout out over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I'm kind of not of a fan of the way this music decided to go. sleep right out loud <clears throat> That's a little better. <clears throat> well, if anybody wants to uh, follow us, we are on twitch.tv forward slash Bell Squad Games TV. And believe it or not, managing to have make the stream happen with DSL connection. We got mm, terrible latency set up, but you know. DSL is DSL. I'm totally willing to bet that this original illustration is probably like 
four or five inches high. It feels, it feels close without being too sticky close, too, too lawsuit close. <clears throat> Free music. Of course, as soon as I say that, it gets interrupted. Beer doesn't sit right with me. a little let's add that happy little ring around the bottom of that spear it's just a heavy little spear he just wants to stab me in the face that's all he's happy in the spear that and say oh, I know where you're going I see what you're getting at I think we could get there with this yeah, we 
it's all it's, you know, yeah, let's see what the lieutenant commander says. Just let it happen. Make it match. Give it that feel. Problem is, kind of got it sitting in the wrong place with the spear. This is where I miss procreate. Procreate, you just draw a line, you hold it, and it can give you a straight line to where you went. Which is kind of nice. Now when I change this angle though, it's going to change everything else. Enjoy the classic D&D art. It's never exactly exact. Early in everyone's career. <clears throat> I think that gives us a good starting point here. If it's a good starting point, maybe it's a good stopping point. So, I appreciate y'all um, popping in and whatnot. The art is the art. And, um,. I'll uh, tidy up a few loose ends on this. And then we'll see how it lands with the chief. The boss. And um, 